Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Take a Havel by Hashem, a Havel Shai by Hashem Karkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Hakim, scattered to the four corners of the globe. Pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Hakim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Pushing the word uh, truthfully and sincerely. Say Shalom to you, Hakim, out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson on this December 28th, 2022 at 7.45 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Wednesday uh, Wednesday night. And this is a news article was recently from the Jerusalem Post, uh, published December 28th, 2022 by Reuters. <coughs> In the uh, highlight of this news article, and it reads, uh, Greece Islands rattled by a strong earthquake felt in Athens. It says, life like the most earthquakes in Greece, no serious injuries or damage was reported. A magnitude 4.9 earthquake shook the islands of Eva and the central Greece on Wednesday and was felt in Athens according to the Athens Geo Geodynamic Institute. There were no immediate reports dam uh there were no immediate reports or injuries or damages according to the fire bridge and local authorities. It says the tremor with a depth of ten kilometers struck around twelve 24 uh, GMT in the area of Mesopa. It was felt very strongly and lasted long. Mesopia Mayor uh, George Fostafasis uh, told the Sky Ski uh, Radio, I believe. It says the second tremor fell followed another tremor with a magnitude of three point a tremor with a magnitude of a 3.6 followed, according to the European Mediterranean Semiology Century reports. And it says uh, the Semiology and the Semiologists, I meant to say, told Greek media that the area has been hit by earthquakes about 20 years ago. Greece is often rattled by earthquakes, most, ca uh, most causing no serious damage. So they had like uh, two uh, earthquakes rattled in the Greek islands. It was a magnitude of a 4.9 earthquake. And then hours later, they got shaken by a 3.9 earthquake as well too. And uh, bring out the scripture. Let's see, uh, second address. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3, and it reads, And therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world, right, because we're seeing the uh, rise and increase once again of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places, a high mid, high mid to range magnitudes of numbering of earthquakes in diverse places and we are definitely seeing it increase more and more and more as these earthquakes are being rattled rattling and shaking this uh, planet earth in diverse places around the world that's what we're seeing it increase as it stated in the uh, second Ezra's 9 degree because it because scripture stated and says you know there shall be seen earthquakes Right, because that's what we're seeing these uh, earthquakes around the world, and they definitely increasing. Because we're seeing it more, uh, more apparently in the news on an everyday basis. You know, more often now. You know, 
as I do these sit down lessons, you know, in regards to these uh, earthquakes around the world. That's why it's increasingly now so more than ever, you know. You know bring out, uh, Luke 21 and 11, and I'm going to close out the lesson. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11, and it reads, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights. Because those pestilence, it could be in two different categories. It could be the pestilence of the weather condition and the conditions of these uh, health risk, health risk of pestilence as well, too. So it have two different meanings to it. Uh, and fearful sights and great signs shall that be from heaven. Right, we see the signs as well too. We see, we see the signs in the heavens and we see the signs on the earth as well too. So, you know, we're going to have these uh, increases of uh, earthquakes in diverse places as I mentioned before previous times, you know. So that's what we are seeing, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying. This is a little quick sit down lesson of a news article that was just recently once again. And this was from the Jerusalem Post. Uh, the Greece Islands got uh, rattled by a strong earthquake. But according to the reports, there wasn't no serious damage or anything. But it was just uh, rattled and shaking by an earthquake in the Greek Islands. So with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying. And I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom in a ball, ball, ball.